up. So I basically just touched down in uh, at JFK Airport here in New York City. Right now, I'm currently just waiting at my gate. I'm currently just waiting for um, my next flight, which is going to be taking me to Italy. Basically, I'm just chilling. Um, I have a layover for about five hours, so uh, I'll probably get back with y'all soon, as soon as I get off to my next flight. And uh, yeah, see you later. I know the hate and the envy make the boys want to kill me. So I keep the 40 with me when I roll through the city. She said, Kev, but you the best. Why they hate? I don't get it. I tell her, baby, this greatest. This the shit that come with it. Right now I'm heading to the Coliseum if I can find it. Hopefully I get there before it closes. So. so right now I just made it to the Coliseum. So hopefully they'll let me in because I might be showing up too late. Uh, so right now I'm at the Coliseum and as you can tell this place is very, 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 very busy. Everybody's trying to get their own pictures, trying to get their own shots, cool shots at Coliseum. I've kind of gotten my shots. But I actually got to see if I can even go inside this thing. Like, I see there's a line. I see there's a line, but I don't even know if I can go inside of it. I'm kind of trying, I'm trying to stay out of people's way. Everybody keeps trying to take photos, so I'm in a way right now. But we'll see. I do not know how to get in this thing. Like, I really do not know how to get in here. <laughs> so, I think I just found a spot. So, this guy basically gave me a spot to check out. And this is Basically, I've been doing all this walking. I have finally made it to. Uh, so, right now, I'm gonna try to get closer to the fountain. Like, it's seemingly impossible, but. You know, maybe there'll be somebody nice enough to let us go, hopefully. Vatican Museum. Just kind of walk around as you can see. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring right now. I'm not really sure where I can go. While visiting the Vatican Museum, I learned that there are a total of 54 museums overall with the last one being the Sistine Chapel. The Vatican Museums are a series of 1400 rooms, chapels, and galleries and they constitute former wings of the Vatican Palace. It is said that the Vatican Museums contain the world's largest collection of art with nine miles of pieces which can wrap four and a half times around the Vatican wall. One of the other things I learned is that actually in the Sistine Chapel, part of its ceiling was decorated by Michelangelo.
Right now, I am at the Vatican. The Vatican City. Is basically where the Pope comes out whenever he's speaking to his audience. This place is massive. Crazy thing, I actually just learned that this is actually its own country. Like, they have their own flag on everything. It's its own country. They have its own soldiers, its own rules. And right now, I'm about to walk inside. I have to wait for very, very long line, but hopefully I can continue recording. It's a lot of, it's a lot of security here. A lot of military soldiers, so hopefully I don't get in trouble, but we'll see. All right. This place is massive. Like, this place is literally massive. I was just told that this place is over three football fields long. Crazy part is, I don't even really want to talk too much or at least talk loud because everybody in here is very quiet. Like, very quiet. So, I'm going to try not to speak too much while walking in here. I really haven't been speaking much at all in any of my videos, but in here, I'm trying to be as respectful as possible. Again, the Vatican is its own country with its own rules, its own set of rules, its own soldiers. So I'm going to try to be quiet with this one and hopefully not get in trouble because I see a lot of cops and a lot of security walking around here. All right. Okay. Little update. Everybody in here is taking pictures and videos, so I think I'm good. <laughs> Like, there's people in here taking pictures and videos everywhere, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine. When I really look at this, like, this is all gold. Like, this is all, really, when I, when I walk next to this stuff, this is all marble, stone, and gold. All of it. Like, almost every single piece of it. I think this place is actually about to close pretty soon. I think it's actually about to close pretty soon. So, 
Maybe another time I get to visit this place. Hopefully. You know, I'm not Catholic, but I would like to see the Pope when he comes out and he does his uh, speech. <sighs> Good morning, guys. So I remember yesterday I talked about maybe I could get, you know, maybe I could come back to see the Pope. And somehow I asked them about it and they said they had more tickets. So they handed me one of the tickets. I got it for free. So... They just finished up. They want to start to leave right now. Right now, I am in the Coliseum. So I just got to the Coliseum, and right now, I'm on the second, or actually, I think like the third level. Um, right now, they kind of got like a like a museum area, just kind of around this area. Kind of shows off some of the monuments. So that pretty much wraps up my time here in Rome. From this point, I'm actually about to leave Rome and head to other locations while here in Italy. So with that, I will see you at the next location. So, right now, I am in the Amalfi Coast. After leaving Rome, I hopped on a train which took me from Rome to Naples. And then from that point, I hopped on a ferry which ended up taking me to the city of Sorrento. Sorrento was pretty much like my home base while I was in the Amalfi Coast, which allowed me to be able to visit all the various different places that's within the Amalfi Coast. But to start things off, I started off in the island of Capri. So as soon as I got to Capri, one of the first things I ended up doing was a boat tour. This tour pretty much took you all around the island, showing you some of the highlights from the water and some of the unique locations that you can't really see from the land. While I was on this tour, my plan was to do the Blue Grotto, but because of the high tide, I wasn't really able to do that. So I ended up just pretty much doing the group tour, boat tour that went around the island. After finishing up with the boat tour, I went inland to do a little bit of exploring. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Signed up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew. 
so guys um uh basically i just started walking until i pretty much found the beach area and look at this view right here but bro i've been here like all day like i've not even I thought this was gonna be kind of like a quick trip. I was gonna come over to this island, pretty much do like the boat tour. I ended up doing the boat tour. I thought I'd see some of the spots, but I have been here all day. You know, I kind of wanted to go to Positano. That's kind of the next place I want to go. Um, probably not gonna make it today because if you see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to get cloudy. It's gonna rain pretty soon, but oh well. Anyways, though, this will definitely be worth the hike. I would say that. So, after leaving the Amalfi Coast, I decided to travel up north to visit the island of Venice. Right now, we are in Venice, or Venezia. Uh, not sure if I'm saying that right. And it is actually very, very, very busy here at the moment. Apparently, there's like this art festival going on called Giardini. So, they, from what they describe, they say it's as busy as Times Square in here. So, anyways, I think it's time to do a little bit of exploring. After doing all this walking around and exploring, you know, I kept seeing, you know, obviously all of the gondolas and the gondola rowers and everything else. And, you know, I kept looking at them and I was like, you know what? I could do that myself. You know, I could do that too. So, I asked them if I could. And they told me yes. So, this is kind of how it went. For those wondering how I was able to get the opportunity to row one of the gondolas, I actually went through a company called Row Venice. Row Venice is pretty much a nonprofit organization that offers Venetian rowing lessons. One of the things that's great about this organization is actually very interesting is that this organization is actually run by a passionate group of women who actually dedicate themselves to the preservation of the traditional Venetian and its center. The gondola rowing lessons that they provide is actually a great way to save money. When I was looking up prices online, I was seeing gondola ride prices that were ranging anywhere between 80 to $100 for pretty much just a 30 minute ride. And if I if I remember correctly, I think that was that was a fixed price, like for the ride, whether it's one person on the boat or many people on the boat. But with Rovenice, 
it was actually a total cost of 85 euro per boat and that covered one or two people and it went up to 120 euro for three people it lasted about an hour and a half so with the total cost per boat being only 85 euro which allows one or two people with a 90 minute private lesson essentially what that means is that each person could have up to 45 minutes right if you were to do it equally you could have each 45 minutes of a private lesson operating the gondola around one of the canals that's actually away from the grand canal what made this lesson so good was the fact that it was nowhere near the grand canal our meeting point was actually on more the outskirts of venice which actually allowed less traffic per se through the canal that you were taking a lesson. So during the time that I was actually learning this lesson, I think I might have seen a grand total of five boats that passed me during this lesson. Because of this, I actually felt a lot less pressure trying to learn how to operate since it wasn't the easiest thing to learn. One of the things I didn't know until I got there was that most of the people who operate the gondola, if not actually every single one of them, you have to actually take a course you have to go to school for this and so trying to learn it in a pretty much a 90 minute private lesson was definitely a challenge but with that i think that wraps up my time here in venice i'm going to start heading my way back to rome to catch my flight but before that i might make one more stop Lake Como is one of the most beautiful places in all of Italy. It's well known for its amazing scenery, spas, and its beautiful wildlife. But I forgot that I came to Italy during down season. So instead of it looking like this, it looked a little more like this. After leaving Venice, I ended up deciding to visit Lake Como as kind of like my last destination spot before I end up going back. And so I ended up taking a train from Venice over to the city of Milan. And then I ended up getting on a different train, which ended up taking me up to Lake Como. What's up guys? So basically I'm on the ferry ride here in Lake Como. I'm about to do like a one hour tour. So we're gonna see how this goes. So that pretty much wraps up my time here in Italy. I appreciate everyone who stuck around and watched to the end. But till next time, peace.